dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon, we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Before I play this video with sound and all, uh, I just want to explain the story behind this video and what exactly is going on here. James, who is a subscriber of the channel, I believe. If you're not, you best get that on that subscribe button, James. Uh, he's definitely a follower on Facebook, though, because he sent me this video through Facebook, uh, along with an explanation as to what happened. Now, I'm going to put that explanation up on the screen. It's going to scroll through. Once that's happened and you've had an idea of what's going on, will then play the clip in its entirety. Uh, I will try and fiddle with the sound so you can hear it a little bit better, but it's quite important to hear what this guy on the left is actually saying. Today, I was parking my car in a retail park. I passed by a courser that was straightening up. As I passed, he beeped. I parked up thinking nothing of it and then got out of my car to head towards the shops. The courser passes. The window lowers and shouting begins. You could have waited, you prick. I was amazed. Why is that, I said. He then explains about how he was straightening up. I say, have a nice day, and he says, and you, you c**t. I say, what was that? He then aggressively parks his car and gets out. He gets out, comes right over to my face. My missus luckily begins to film on her phone, unknown to me. He starts with all the threats of having a fight and how I apparently am being aggressive towards him. Then the question come, do you know what I do for a living? A cop, I said, almost knowing by the way he was smugly chewing his gum. I then say I don't care if he's a police officer and he's acting out of conduct. And he says I am a cop and begins to talk about free man of the land for some reason. I say no, I'm actually a skilled engineer by trade on a 50k salary with my family in the car. He says I'm still a c**t and that my partner is in the car and not a witness. It's all on film. I say about how God is watching all of this and other people in the car park and how he isn't working for God right now, but is serving the devil. He gets very angry and says, let's have it now, you can't Go on, hit me, hit me. I tell him how I'm a peaceful man of God and how he's disgusting to act like this, especially as he's a police officer. He then walks to note my registration plate and how he's going to get me killed. And if he sees me driving around when he's in uniform, he's going to pull me over and it'll be different. I say, you what, and walk back towards his car. He wants to fight me. He gets right up in my face, waving his finger inches from me, asking me to throw the first punch. I continue to explain how I'm a peaceful man of God. My partner then winds down the window and begins to say about stopping and coming back to the car. Everything was on film, thank God. We don't need scum like this who are meant to be upholding the peace. Imagine what the bastard is like when he gets his uniform on. <laughs> He was reversing and then he went back into his parking space and then we went past and he beeped at us. Come on James, this is an important... Police officer. No, come here. Huh? Huh? No, stay here, please, Virgil. <laughs> I'm 
I think it's pretty clear to see from that clip that there was only one person that was being threatening and it was the fucking big dude on the left. Now during a conversation with James it turned out that it was being investigated by the police so I wanted to see what was happening before he allowed me to use the video. A few days later I had a message saying that he's been asked to go to the, to the police station to give a statement they said that they've identified the guy um, and that and he's known to the police on their system and that he is a security guard not a police officer although james didn't believe them and he also didn't want to go to the police station after a few weeks it turned out there wasn't really much progress with regards to the police report that he'd made it turns out that the guy was a doorman uh, and the police wanted to report him to the governing body of you know SIA. James wasn't that keen on it because he's not a grass um, but he thought fair enough because he's probably a bully especially in his yellow armbands uh, you know the ones they wear on their arm with their SIA badge in. Um, so that was kind of where it got left really. Um, I mean the guy's clearly got some issues. The guy clearly doesn't know you know truth from fiction. He's not a police officer. He's a wannabe copper which is why he's a security. But the problem that we have here is quite a major problem. You see, under section 90 of the Police Act 1996, any person who, with intent to deceive, impersonates a member of the police force or special constable or makes any statement or does any act calculated falsely to suggest that he is such a member or constable shall be guilty of an offence and liable on summary conviction to imprisonment for a term not exceeding six months or to a fine not exceeding level five on the standard scale or both, which clearly makes this man's actions unlawful, illegal, against the law. Well, however you want to put it, the guy's actions are wrong. Suggesting as a policeman to try and get one over on a member of the public. Again, I could only see one person there using threatening behavior. I think that James handled himself quite well, considering you know what he was faced with, a belligerent prick like that. But yeah, I'd like to know what you think. I'd like to hear your comments uh, in the comments below. I understand that the sound isn't the greatest of quality. I have tried to improve it where I can with the software that I have. I hope it's enough for you to be able to hear what's important. Uh, I have put in those text boxes as well at a few points throughout the video to try and help you out. But other than that, I'm gonna leave this one there. Thanks for your time. Take care of yourselves look after each other, and remember to film the police, or anybody else who claims to be one. Good night, all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video. Down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.